So I'd like to talk to you today about wear, and this is what I call ethnographic wear. And I actually love to see this on old pottery because it tells me it was real, it was used, and it hasn't been monkeyed with. And a lot of pottery, especially historic pottery, you know, if it gets a chip or a break in it, well, the restoration will be done on it because, you know, they don't, dealers don't want it to, to look bad. They want it to be able to sell it. That's okay. That's not a problem to have it done. But what I don't like is if you have wear like this, which again, I call ethnographic wear, that you get rid of that, that you fix this rim and make it look perfect because they shouldn't. No one should because this is what the pot really was used for. So this pot is about 1880s. It's from Zuni. Uh, it was made for self-use and probably was at some point in time sold off uh, maybe in the 1900s, maybe a little later when metal pans really came in with the railroads. A lot of these pots went away. There was a, a person called uh, James Stevenson who was from the Ethnographic Bureau who worked for the Smithsonian that came in in 1879 and 1881 and 1884 and 5 and took over 5,000 pots out of Zuni for the Smithsonian. So they really kind of cleaned it out. But this would have been made right after uh, sometime right after Smithsonian uh, exposition of uh, Stevenson. And we can date it really right around that time frame. So it was really used. It has wear along the edges. You can see on the top. So that would be ladle wear, most likely. It's probably used primarily for water. But one of the other things I love about it, not just this great wear, that you'll see in this area, you'll see that there is patina or patination from hands, from people touching it. And again, sometimes pots, people will clean this off, which is really a mistake. Because if you want to see something as it really would have been used at that time, look for this ethnographic wear, look for a patination. And on the bottom on this particular one, you can see it's worn down. That's not from somebody sanding it down so it sits straight. That is because they used this. This would have been turned on. You know, many times, hundreds and thousands of times even over its lifetime, depending on how long it was in use as a Pueblo pot. So this was never used for any kind of ritual thing. This was literally for serving water or maybe uh, seeds and that kind of thing. And they're hard to come by because often they will get damaged. So if you see something with this kind of wear, don't go away from it. You should embrace it because to me, that's the best kind. It's real.